This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Domain.com. What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. The folks at OnePlus are trying to breathe some fresh air into the OnePlus One and they just debuted and released the new Oxygen OS. Let's see if it does the job. Most OnePlus One users were waiting for one of two things, uh, either Cyanogen 12S based on Lollipop or OnePlus's own much teased Oxygen OS also based on Lollipop and that's what we have here. Fun fact, the original OnePlus One actually shipped with Cyanogen 11S based on KitKat. It was 4.4.4. Here we have OnePlus One's Oxygen OS and it looks very much like stock Lollipop. It's based off of 5.0.2. A lot of the things that people loved about the original uh, are here in OnePlus's own OS. So let me start with the off-screen gestures, and a lot of these were aped directly from Cyanogen. Double tap to wake up, we saw that guy uh, in LG devices, and of course on Cyanogen 11S. Go ahead and turn that off again. Let's say you wanna launch the camera, go ahead and do a little circle, that's gonna turn on there. If you wanna launch a flashlight, you can just make a V and that's gonna turn on in the back. Not sure if that's gonna show up on camera. Uh, if you wanna play music, you can draw your fingers down. If you want to uh, go fast forward or back, you can draw arrows depending on what you wanna do. Those are all here and those can all be tweaked in settings. So go ahead and jump right in. Uh, let me jump into settings and show you some of the stuff that I was talking about first. We'll go down to about phone and you can see this is running, Oxygen OS 1.0.0. Uh, and it's 5.0.2 based. I'll go ahead and jump back. Uh, so the OnePlus One is when a few phones actually ships with physical buttons or you have the option of using software buttons. They're kind of low lit down below. Uh, you can still turn those on or off in settings depending on what you want to do. Uh, one of the big features that they're touting here is in quick settings. So go ahead and pull that down. This looks pretty standard what you see on Lollipop, except see those little four squares? We'll go ahead and push them four squares. And now you can rearrange or even hide these quick settings icons if you want. So you can rearrange them anywhere you want. You can tap it to turn it off and it goes black. Uh, and then once you hit that save button, they are going to go away. And of course you can always bring them back or reset to defaults. Go ahead and exit out of that. Uh, jumping into settings here, scroll down, or scroll up rather, and you're going to see buttons. This is where you can determine whether or not you want your on screen uh, or your physical buttons. Turn that on or off. You wanna have uh, on screen nav bar. Go ahead and go back. We've got gestures. This is where you can turn on or off all the stuff that I showed you previously. Uh, so we just installed this on here. If you want to know how to do it, uh, we'll put a link down below to show you the instructions. Uh, it can be a little bit complicated, but if you've ever installed a custom OS on a phone, uh, you should be able to do it yourself. A few other things that OnePlus is having, it's got a built-in file manager now, which it's not that big a deal, but there's one built in, so you have to go ahead and install a third party. Uh, other than that, we're gonna continue testing and see what other new features we've got here. Uh, other things that are on board, you can have Google Now if you swipe on over. Uh, if you've got it turned on from the side, we don't have it turned on here. Uh, but it looks like the Google Now launcher with a few new tweaks built into it. Let me stop real fast and thank our peeps at Domain.com. It's the place to go when the next great idea hits you, like in the middle of the night. It's one-stop shopping for all your domain name and web hosting and email needs. Domain.com wants to hook you up with a pretty sick offer. Save 20% on domain names and web hosting when you use coupon code TECHNOBUFFALO. It's all one word in caps at Domain.com's checkout. When you think domains, think Domain.com. So a pretty nice look, especially for a 1.0.0 build. Uh, appears to be relatively stable, but we'll continue testing and see anything that sort of jumps up as gigantic, big, gross, crawly bugs, whether or not it's pretty stable. Uh, if you are a OnePlus One user and you really want to use it as your daily phone, you might want to wait a little while. Let us test it uh, to see how stable it is. Uh, but of course, 12S uh, for Cyanogen is coming soon uh, to the device, so you'll be able to put that on there as well. You can really just take your pick. Uh, anything else you guys want to see us cover with the OnePlus One, leave it in the comments located probably in my pants region. Otherwise, be sure to hit the big subscribe button. We got a ton of new videos coming seemingly every day. Until next time, I'm John Rittinger from Techno Buffalo. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.